I meant to Yo, say, up, Frank Martin Quay, not Devon T. Davis. My bad. Online about the, the fight between Frank Martin and Javante Davis. And I was telling people that Javante Davis, uh, he quit, quit for the most part. He quit. He quit the way Mike Tyson quit against Buster Douglas. He quit the way uh, he quit the way Mike Tyson quit against Evander Holyfield. He quit the way Julio Cesar Chavez quit against Frankie Randall. He quit the way uh, Tommy Hearns quit against Marvin Hagler. He quit the way he quit. He 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 didn't quit like he didn't quit like Roberto Duran did when he quit against Sugar Ray Leonard. He quit to where he just stopped, where he lost the will and the wit, the will and the, and the desire to keep going. That's how he quit. And he quit. He didn't want to fight no more. People say he got hit with some hard punches at the end. He got hit with hard punches from the beginning of the fight. How come he got hit with a punch earlier? How come he didn't go down then? He quit. And people say, oh, he was probably weight drained. Weight drained is some shit that people have made up. And they don't know what they're talking about. I'm going to prove it to you. Wait for this noise to go by. You never heard... You never heard Bernard Hopkins or Floyd Mayweather say that they've been able to weight drain. Weight drain is some shit that people have made up in the amateurs. Or fighters have made up so they can bullshit people. You should never, a fighter should never be more than three pounds over his weight class at any given time. Because you never know when the phone is going to ring for a fight. And what happened is these guys try to make weight at the last minute. That's why they be walking around with plastic suits on and shit like that. Plastic suits and sauna suits. They do that because they're trying to make that's their car making noise. They do that shit because they're trying to make weight at the last minute. But but if you come in the gym every day at your weight, you don't have a problem. But they try to make the weight at the last minute. And that's why they be getting messed up. They got they got an amateur mentality because you can do that in the amateurs. You can't do that when you're professional. Miguel Cotto used to do that, wear plastic suits. William Joppy wore a plastic suit before he got knocked out by Trinidad. Miguel, Go Miguel Cotto always wear plastic suits. I seen, uh, oh, I seen all these guys in plastic suits here lately in these sauna suits. Why do you need to wear a sauna suit if you're not if you if you eating right and working out? There's no need to wear a sauna suit. Why do you need to wear that? There's no such thing as overtraining. Overtraining is when a fighter tried to cram too much of a workout into a short period of time. And that guy quit. He got tired of getting hit on and he quit. And he didn't want to fight no more. He got tired of getting his ass whipped. And then he said he got hit with a right hand. Man, he was getting hit with right hands all night. But yeah, let me go. This is my book. I might have some of my books. He didn't, he didn't get knocked out, then he quit. He got tired of getting his ass whipped. That's what he did. But I told y'all he looked kind of scared anyway. He looked like he was scared of Javante Davis. I don't understand why you're going to be scared of somebody. He, bigger than him, you weigh just as much as he do. You got a better reach. What do you have to be scared of? I told y'all he looked a little scared in the beginning. But it is what it is. Alright y'all, take it easy. Check out my books online. This is my other one. This is my first one. This is my second one. This is my third one. And this is my latest one. This one just been out. Uh, I was watching a Nitro Ben. Nitro Ben, I think he's a middleweight. He beat Iron Man Barkley. Nitro Ben. Used to come out fighting just like Aaron Pryor. They come out fighting right away. Nigel Ben didn't do none of that uh, boxing, trying to fill a guy out. He would just come out and be born. He'd be wailing right away. As soon as the bell rang, he'd be like this. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, <laughs> oh,
That's how he used to come out there. He was well right away. All I needed.